Welcome back everyone. No tutorial today. If you want to know how to do update firmware, there's plenty of people that can tell you how to update the firmware on your Walksnail system. But what I wanted to do is talk about the latest firmware at the time, which is the Avatar 34.40.15 that introduced race mode onto the Avatar HD system. So I wanted to test it and I did it. I'm going to set this to the side for right now because I'm not doing it on this one. This is uh, Fox Whoop. We are instead doing everything today using this quad. This is a four inch toothpick on a UL5 frame. I could run five inch, but I'm not running a 1S walk snail system, the old V1 with uh, the nano camera. And I've got a cherry or a rush cherry antenna on the back. Actually, it's one from, it's a Caddx antenna, but it's from the Vista system uh, on here. And that's what I'm using for that. Goggles, I'm using the antennas that it come with, even though I really don't care for those antennas. I just wanted to get kind of a baseline for this as best as I could. So long story short, I've seen people test race mode, which is the new mode introduced that gives you race band channels that match the analog output. And theoretically you can, well, you, you can race it and hit your timing system, should be able to pick it up. And then you should, well, have better latency. Uh, the resolution is lower to 540p. It's locked at that resolution with high frame rate to reduce the latency. I've seen it range between 22 and 24, you know, as far as the latency goes, 24 megabits per second, not megabits, latency, you know, not nanoseconds. Yeah, latency. Couldn't get that word out. Uh, so it's not fixed like analog or HD zero, but it is lowered. Now I'm going to answer two questions in this video at less than two minutes in, we're going to get those two questions out of the way. One, can a timing system pick it up? Now the only timing system I had access to was the TBS, uh, lap timer. And I'm happy to report it 100% picked it up without any problems. I was running race band eight. I verified it on an analog quad before, and then I threw that quad in the truck and then I got out this one and I flew it and lo and behold, it picked up the timing perfectly. Now, how that acts with other pilots on the line, I don't know. I was only able to get out there by myself. It's 105 degrees here whenever I did it, and it's hard to convince other people to come out and run uh, run laps with you when it's that hot in the middle of the day. What about visuals? I know that's going to be a huge thing coming up. How does it look? Well, I'm going to put this up on screen, and you can watch the lap progress. I ran it 25 megabit or milliwatt because that's what you're going to have to race with. We're not going to, I don't care how race mode looks on the track at 700 milliwatts. You're not going to be racing at 700 milliwatts. 25 is where you're at. So 25 is what I ran this at. And I was expecting horrific smearing like we've seen typically with uh, walks now. It's just, well, it is what it is. I'm not going to make excuses for it. However, I will say I was pleasantly surprised with what we're seeing on the screen here. In the goggles, it is a much tighter experience than what you're probably seeing on a desktop computer. If you're on a phone, it's gonna be a little bit closer on a mobile device. It's gonna be closer to what you'd actually see. I realize I'm rendering this out at 4K, and the reality is is because if you wanna preserve as much as possible to give that original look, that's what you need to do. There is an OSD on here. I use the tool to allow for OSD, and that's gonna show you the latency and the, the uh, the, the power output that I'm putting here. And quite frankly, time on the track, I was able to match pretty close to my Freedom Spec quad with this one. And I was a little nervous because this isn't the most protected quad that you wanna go out there and smash into gates. I did hit a gate one time. And if you're wondering how it takes impacts, I don't know that I would use this one as a representation, but I did black out. I went unplugged, plugged back in, and it was good to go. But this is the naked 1S system. I never intended to put this on a track, literally just a park flyer. However, now I'm contemplating moving this gear over onto a four inch tiny trainer frame because I have one in the garage. Might be a fun thing to do. So would I buy this to race? No, I wouldn't. However, I'm probably gonna take this stuff that I have and see how it does on a race day and see how it does with other pilots and see if we can make this work because I think it could be a good shoe in for people who already have it and may want to join up with a local race and have never been able to before. Now they can potentially, as long as they can not go over there and really interfere and they know how to change channels and do all that. But the real kicker for me is you can run hundred milliwatt, 200 milliwatt, 
uh, and your own race band channels and you can go out with your buddies who fly analog and you can not stand on top of them but you can all go out together and pick a channel everybody picks a different channel and you go out and you fly and it's super fun and that's the part that I'm looking for in fact I've kept analog quads analog freestyle quads for that purpose and I now don't really have a reason to keep those I'll take the analog gear off put them over on my race stuff and I'll throw a walk snail system on that and then I'll leave it on because I'm going to run with some friends in a local park or at a bando or something and we're all going to have a great time so if you got anything out of this video let me know uh hit that like button hit the subscribe button stay tuned for more tutorials are coming as far as some lifestyle stuff and we'll probably have some race vlogs too if, if you're interested in that let me know down in the comment section and if you've tried this and uh, let me know what your experience was like was it similar to mine did you have a worse experience did you have a better experience because overall i'm pretty happy with this particular progression i haven't updated in a while because it's always been like a lot of problems one after the other and uh overall i'm enjoying my time with the system uh, are there better stuff? Depends on what you're trying to get out of it. I'm not here to say what you should spend your money on on it. I'm just trying to tell you my experience, what I got out of it, and what you may get out of the experience with yours. So let me know down in the comment section below what you thought about it, and we will catch you all in the next one. Knock down eastbound on the interstate. Hit waves, sun gaze, find that inner space. Plant my feet up in the sand, do a figure eight. Be great, get paid, fillet up on the dinner plate. Try to stay present while I plot some bigger things. Shifting how I perceive what being a winner means. I mean, I guess I'm doing pretty good considering all the crazy I've been through. Figured I'd be withering. Weather never better, even with the stormy days. Cause how we gon' see light without the dark and boring phase? I've been ate a little, then I set the sun ablaze. Seeing new reflections within that summer haze. Getting hype up off the chase. Why? Well, I don't know how to act though. Discovering what's more important than my cash flow. Still looking for abundance, that's a fact though. Right now, all I wanna do is relax though.